Hello guys, welcome back to the Salama Development Series. In this video, we'll be building a script to send tokens to multiple wallet, aka we'll be doing an airdrop with Python. Yeah, yes, finally, there's something simpler than Rust. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, now let's start by just creating a folder to keep it ev keep everything arranged. So yeah, this is just airdrop, airdrop. Yes, so we have created this. Next, we just name this. Next, we'll just open a Python file and start importing the required library. So first, we'll import into tools. Next, we'll import CSV. So this is like. CSV is for like as we'll be just creating a separate uh, separate file where we'll be storing all the wallet addresses so that is like where the CSV will come into play so there will be CSV so that will be the CSV format format next we'll import uh, OS to access the command line next uh, sub process and next we'll import uh, list directory from OS. So yeah, list directory from list directory and format from this file and run. Next, we'll import the time. Next, we'll create a variable where we'll be storing the mint address. Uh, the mint address. So this is uh. So mint address is the address of the token. Next, we'll just add one. So let me just create a token. So this was, so I have created a separate video to create a shitcoin, aka a token. So yeah, let me just create a token here. So SPL dash token create account, create token. Cool. So I have created a token and just minted thousand tokens to my wallet. So we have a token ready. I've created, like I've just added the token address. Next, we'll just create a file, and this will be the file where we'll be storing the tokens. Uh, sorry, the addresses which we'll be airdropping the tokens. So addresses .csv. So yeah, now let's just start by uh, okay. So I'll just add some random addresses. So this will be mostly addresses of some popular folks, including Raj, who's watching this video. Probably. What the shit? Next, we'll just uh, note down the address of the file. So yeah, it's an addresses dot csv. Next, we'll open the files so let me just do that open and the address of the token which is i'm sorry the name the file name next this is read after this the encoding is utf utf-8 as okay as like, let's say f cool csv underscore reader is equal to csv dot reader in the bracket f delimiter is equal to this okay next we will just keep the line count zero and start the line count over here so csv underscore reader and print so here this will just print like first two lines of first two rows so yeah first two rows next we'll just check the number of tokens number of tokens and this will be row one close the bracket if number is uh, so if number of tokens is more than 300 sorry, if the number of token 
is more than right, okay if the token is more than 3500 this is actually not needed in case like there uh like if you have like a ton of list and there are there are like a lot of addresses you should be filtering and you have just mistyped somewhere so we can just have this so yeah so maximum one person can have is 3500 tokens which right now nobody has cool so now let's start by creating oh so now let's start by increasing the count so like see this count is one next we we'll just print yeah so now we'll be just like entering this into the cli so now let's start this thing so let's go here and start by sp and token so this was like explained in one of uh explained in a token video so if you want to send a token so to someone you just type spl dash token transfer yeah, transfer dash dash allow unfunded account unfunded recipient then allow uh, then fund the recipient so this will fund the recipients our token account yeah fund recipient account and mint address and after that we'll enter the addresses cool so that was explained in one of the video i've just added it again just to uh to simplify it so yeah now let's start it by creating this soul f tokens then transfer dash dash allow unfunded account recipient cool next we just fund the recipient here recipient recipient and here that we have the bank address next we'll have row one yeah row one and row two cool so now let's start by okay sorry this will this should be inside this yeah next we'll uh, transfer the token so transfer instruction is equal to sub process sub process dot run the bracket spl dash token comma transfer is equal to now fund recipient oh, sorry receipt sorry you can receive it okay, just type this recipient recipient next is on just find uh, row 1 is the amount of tokens which we have to send and row 0 is the address of the recipient so we have this ready mint address 10 pipeline pipe then close the bracket and then we have to also add HTTPER is equal to sub process dot pipe then text is equal to true close the bracket so next we'll just open a file so this will be where we will be storing uh the transaction log and like you can just like copy just to keep a track of the transactions so yeah vf is equal to open the bracket uh the bracket transaction log Sorry. yeah uh transaction log dot txt a next we write the address so yeah the right and transfer instruction out plus transfer instruction transfer instruction dot S T T E R R. 
tool next we will close the close this so then f is equal to then we just close f close the file done so here we have opened the file here we have closed the file cool so we have our program ready so in just 30 lines of code we have successfully so so this is like only 30 lines of code and you will be able to send token to any address just a disclaimer this is a very expensive process so you can lose a lot of tokens so you should have sufficient amount of soul to add to that token account so yeah now we just test this program so i'll go to airdrop and i'll start by yep so next i'll just python run this python 3 airdrop by we just uh edit the file and add, like just remove that comma and we can now just go and test it so just type python 3 so just type python 3 error.py and this will just create a file after the token is transferred and then it will write the log so this is the transaction this is the associate account which has been created so yeah this is all we have we are now successfully wrote and tested a drop program so yay before we just end this video i just explain just i'll just give a quick recap of what this program actually does so here we are importing some libraries some are not used but yeah so yeah we have we are importing few libraries then uh, we are specifying the bit address after that we are just specifying that uh the address is csp next we are opening the file next we are next we are reading each row so next we are reading the csp and uh like just separating it with a comma and this is uh so then we are running it by the row uh running it then the row here is a uh, row zero is a uh, row zero is the address of the recipient and row one is the address uh is the amount next we are increasing the count of this and next we are increasing the count of the line next we are next we will print this or print the command though we are like just to check if like this transaction is going uh just to see like which transaction is active right now so next we are uh, doing the transaction here to send the tokens from my account to uh, those address or uh, like one of the address next we are opening the account uh, sorry uh, next we are opening uh, a file text log and law like writing down uh, writing down the log and closing that account and here we are closing the file and yeah we have successfully done this that's not for watching this do like share and subscribe my channel and follow me on twitter here's my twitter so yeah let's meet soon in the next video